Who was Frank Yerby? Frank Yerby was an African American writer who gave the world a body of literature that has inspired and thrilled millions of readers. A brilliant storyteller and an intellectual giant, it is estimated that Yerby sold more books than all other African American writers combined. With the publication of his 25th novel, The Voyage Unplanned, Yerby had sold over 55 million books in 82 countries and in 23 languages. Additionally, Yerby wrote eight novels before his death in 1991, bringing the total number of published books to 33. Yerby wrote but could not find a publisher for at least two other books, Nat Turner and The Tents of Shem. Frank Yerby was not exclusively a novelist. He was a poet and a short story writer as well. John Henry Clark featured Yerby's short story, The Homecoming, in A Century of the Best Black American Short Stories. Arna Bontemp featured several of Yerby's poems, including the enigmatic and ironic The Fishes and the Poet's Hands in his American Negro Poetry. And Georgia Voices, edited by Hugh Rupersberg, includes Yerby's prize-winning short story, Health Card. Yerby's canon of work must be considered a treasure of unique importance and exquisite value. Good in the Robert De Niro, Dustin Hoffman film, Wag the Dog, Frank Yerby's Jarrett's Jade is used as a clue to the film's cryptic message. Oh, you're right. What is the Frank Yerby Renaissance Project? As conceived by its director, Dr. Eugene Stovall, the Frank Yerby Renaissance Project is an outreach into academia museums, libraries, community reading groups, performing arts organizations, and to individuals, booking and literary agents with a variety of products including books by Frank Yerby as well as about Frank Yerby, symposia, and forums, films, and DVDs. These products can be used to examine Frank Yerby's historical, social, and literary legacy. Frank Yerby, A Victim's Guilt, is an imaginative work that transports the reader into a mysterious and fascinating world where history and fiction merge within the actuality of Frank Yerby's mind. Characters from Frank Yerby's own book snatch him from his deathbed and demand that he recant his doctrine of the victim's guilt. They believe this doctrine has condemned Yerby to oblivion and his characters as well. Their will to survive is pitted against Yerby's pernicious belief with unforeseen consequences for all. item in the Frank Yerby collection of products, the Frank Yerby Symposium DVD. When the Frank Yerby Renaissance Project began in 2001, Frank Yerby had become all but forgotten. Few, if any, bookstores carried his books. On May 13, 2006, the literary genius of Frank Yerby was renewed via the Frank Yerby Symposium, held at the James Moore Theater in Oakland, California. The symposium features excerpts from Yerby's work, read by notables, writer personality Jerry Lange, Dr. Nick Baham, award-winning mystery writer Laura Roberts, Charles Brown, Dr. Barbara Cannon, Ken Trammell, Rick Moss, Professor Emeritus Willie Thompson, and poet Reginald Lockett. Remarks about Frank Yerby by Dr. James Lee Hill. Member of the board and executive vice president of the William Morris Talent Agency, 
Owen Laster, and Symposium founder Dr. Eugene Stovall. Personal Reflection on Yerby by former student Marcella Huggins Conley, and an insightful examination of Frank Yerby the person expressed through his writing, presented by Dr. John Charles. Additional novels by Eugene Stovall include Blood and Brotherhood, Cassandra's Curse, The Edumian Covenant, and Consort of the Female Pharaoh.